Island way. From Plainview, Long Island, New York, weighing in today at 215 pounds, he's better than you, and you know it, Maxwell Jacob Reedman! Second half, Limitless Wrestling, question the answers. Max Mashmaster here with Top Shelf, Troy Nelson picking up his one year win, but what do we have in front of us here? If you told me, I'm a little bit taken back here. Two year vet, which I absolutely hate the sound of that, versus a true vet, Teddy Hart. If you told me in 2017 that this was gonna be a marquee matchup, I'm shocked. Teddy Hart is at a resurgent over the past couple of months. Showing up to work to say the least there, Max. I totally agree with you. Teddy Hart has really, really proven to a lot of people that he can still go and he is still a big part of the Hart family. But Maxwell Jacob Friedman has, has shown up on the scene and he's made a name for himself very quickly and he has gold in many places. And I'm sure if there was gold here in Limitless Wrestling, he would have it. You have to think, Teddy Hart has got to be looking at a mirror right now, a funhouse mirror, if you will. Was that not, perhaps, Teddy Hart two years into the wrestling business? Maybe he sees a lot of MJF in him, and maybe he's going to try to knock a censor to him that he had wished someone had knocked into him many moons ago. That, that's a great point, and we're seeing a handshake here, so we're not really sure. Maybe there's a veteran move by Teddy Hart, and he's watching, uh, watching his back a little bit. Something being said here. Oh, giving him a taste of his own medicine. Uh, with all the nice things we just said, I really don't like Maxwell Jacob Freeman. Oh, neither do I. Oh! oh! Hey, power it's over! Backcracker. It's over! Go for a That's pin! Gonna be it. Go for a pin! That's going to be the quickest match in the history of Limitless Wrestling. He calls that the Teddy Bomb, and uh, it's very far away from being a Teddy Bear as he cracks the back of Maxwell Jacob Freeman. And you know what? You want to talk about a two-year vet? Screw you! That was a rookie mistake right there, Absolutely. trusting Teddy Hart. And he's gonna make him pay right now, remarkably. MJF back up to his feet after that Teddy ball. Teddy Hart just laying in shots, picking his shots, and he's putting him right where he wants him, right on the chest and the neck area of MJF. When you think about the people that Teddy Hart has shared a ring with, let we be remiss to say that MJF Quite the competitors the last time we were here, Sammy oh, Callahan. That was an excellent match, but look right here. Oh, oh, drive! Oh, like I said before, attacking that neck, and Maxwell Jacob Friedman tried to get out of it with a handshake, but Teddy Hart is having none of it. He is not trusting him at all. It's times like these that I wish I had crushed velvet here. You do have crushed velvet pajamas, though. You wore them to my house once. It was very odd. Do you want a sip of my whiskey? Uh, sure. There we go. Why I won't tell you why. on this thing. No, leave it. That's a good pour oh, that's that way. It's a glass governor. That's I see. a good pour that way. No, no, no. Look at this standing chicken that's wing. But nice oh, it could be a DT. Oh, that's over. That it's is a over. night of finishes. That is over. Uh, Teddy Hart has just broken the neck, I believe, of MJF. MJF holding his, yeah, he's moving his feet at least. I'm actually very surprised. It's just a regular, you know, great old DDT, but he drove him down so hard. We've seen the Stu Hart special in past matches. Though he'd sit out with it. That time it was into a DDT. 
That is not the Stu Hart special. He's got so know. many names to his moves. I know. We have I a list of them here. We're trying to find out what is what, but that, that right there is just a cradle DDT. Oh, MJF. You know, he's very Never smart. Never heard of him. Very smart at picking his shots. His neck must be killed. You can see how red it is from the impact he just took, but he was able to pick a shot, uh, take Teddy Hart off guard, and drive him into that post. Now he's working on the arm, you know, connected to that shoulder that just took all the impact. Teddy Hart, oh, right into the buckle, chest first. Slowing down the pace. And this is where that vet status of MJF comes in, all two years of it. Picking apart the true vet, oh. Teddy Hart. It's gonna be a Regal Plex release. Regal, regal Plex. Plex. Oh. Teddy Hart. I can't see it from my vantage point. Is he holding his neck? Did he land on his neck with that? MJ going for the pin. Smart move. Teddy well, Hart. Well, Dojan only out, says two. I think the damage has been done. Teddy Hart is not moving very well. My question here is MJF gonna capitalize? Is he gonna make another rookie mistake? A lot of words were shared on Twitter on the Limitless Wrestling YouTube page between these two. MJF is protesting a little too much right now there, Max. And what's it, I'm just focusing on Teddy Hart. He's, he's in a bad way right now. He usually has a lot of fire. He's up to his feet. He's trying to counter, uh, but right now he's down on the mat. And I don't know if he, you know, the neck caused a little bit of uh, tingling in his hand and then MJF stomping on it after that is also, you know, affecting him. But will Teddy Hart be able to hit his high risk maneuvers uh, to take over in this match? Teddy Hart, that, that's his veteran instinct right there going to the eyes. He's allowed Teddy Hart to get back up on his feet. Picking out a body part there. Yeah, still staying on that arm. The start of the neck. And again, if goes I'm, right to the shoulder and I'm, then right down to the hands. If I'm MJF, yes, Teddy Hart has some impressive moves. But if I'm picking out a body part, what would you take out? That aerial assault of Teddy Hart. And we I'm working on those legs. His legs. And just like that. Into a heel hook. Into a heel hook. MJF dead center of the ring. The ropes. He's got to get to that side. He's, He's winning over. He's still got his power, He's though. Down the leg. He's still fresh enough to be able to get to the ring, or to the ropes. If I am MJF, I am attacking the base. I am attacking the tree trunks of Teddy Hart. Do not let him go to the top rope. Do not let him fly. Do not let him get the advantage. But again, back to the arm and fingers of Teddy Hart. So we know that Teddy Hart likes to um, employ either a, a shooting star or a shooting star elbow. Yeah, that involves you bending your neck backwards, bending your shoulders backwards. Is he going to be able to do those and, and execute them easily? Will he be able to do it? Like, time's only going to tell right now. If MJF keeps running, his best or ever will be. Two years. You know, that right there, he could have hit a move. He could have done something offensively and just taken Teddy Hart out. But he's so smug, he's so cocky at this point. Uh, that could be his downfall if he keeps this kind of thing up. Down comes the wrist tape there of Teddy Hart. Yeah, the swelling must be getting to him. All the way up. What Teddy Hart this? standing on his back. Standing on his back. Get out of here! One, code two, red. almost three on that. You can call that a code 10, if you will. I like it. Roof. I am creative. Ten, look at his hand. Wait a minute. Look at, his, look at the way he's holding his hand there, Max. Yeah, like I said, I believe that the that wrist. swelling was getting to him. He had to take off that wrist tape. Uh, MJF had done some damage, but he was able to use his leg power, like we said, and he was able to execute that code 10. Oh, we've seen this All before. the way up. Walks up the ropes. Oh, into boy. a tornado. Those ropes are doing ropes. some straining. Cash has an Arabian ropes. press. Wait. Oh, 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 he's got his on hand on the rope. Not even the oh, foot, the hand. He was so quick with that. Um, Teddy Hart diving all the way across the ring and then hitting that, should we call it a Calgary press? Maybe an Alberta press onto uh, MJF. But MJF getting his hand on the ropes. I'm still so impressed with calling it a code Ted. Would you like another sip of my whiskey? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh -huh. Oh, Teddy Take Hart mounting offense. Hold on, hold on. He's got him set up. This could be you the Stu Hart special right here, the gory bomb. No. Gets him. Oh, we've seen MJF use this before. Catches him. Passes him straight down. Two and oh, Teddy Hart able to get out right before three. 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 
MJF just livid. Uh, I would be too at Will Dojin. You can't trust a referee who's wearing athletic goggles to the ring. I touched two turnbuckles. I got the match. He has again. hamburger for brains. Uh -huh. But let's get back to this match. MJF. MJF. What is he doing? He's saying it's all Talkiness over. And MJF he could be looking to go to the high rent district in his own right. Is he going to go for a max salt? He's all the way to the top, but Teddy Hart is to his feet as well. Oh, oh right down on the family Catches jewels. Him in the oh, double back chop onto the back of MJF. Teddy Hart feeling the effects, though. You can see it in his face. What can this be? His neck is bothering his arm. And I'm his nervous hand. there. To... What is this? What? He's got a, a sidewalk slip. Oh! oh my God, on, top of, on the top rope. Oh, man. Teddy Hart feeling the effects. Teddy Hart. his arm out. Teddy Hart's got to be positioned, though. Look at that. If he goes up top, it could be the what triple could bypass. It could be just even those top rope aerial maneuvers. Get some of that Manhattan drop. Teddy Hart to the second, all the way to the top well, I've now. I've seen this DDT, perhaps. Oh, he oh. gets up. What a maneuver. Floating in the air, and Just bringing it in tight. Driving spike DDT, but he always goes for that little bit of a swan so he can get his legs to whip around and drive the head in even harder. Here we go, here it is. Max, he's going for it. No, but he is hurt. He's showing his effects. Maxwell Jacob Fry Freiman is just taking so. Oh, but not enough yeah, to take up. out Teddy Hart with that big moonsault to the outside. Perfect moonsault. Both men slow to get up. And there's Teddy Hart. And the crowd is letting him hear it tonight. Referee Will Dojan administering the count. All the way up to three. Do we have a 10 or a 20 count here in Limitless Wrestling? You had me at 10. I believe it's a 10 count you here in Limitless Wrestling. You had me at 10. Wait a minute, Teddy Hart now. Oh, he's wait got a second. A, he's got a chair. Yeah, he's got a break chair. count right about now, I'd say. I hope he doesn't and break, break that the count chair. right there. Another Arabian press. Oh! Onto, 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 Arabian, onto the chair. Teddy Hart with momentum now. The look of pain that is on Maxwell Jacob Freeman's face right now is unbelievable. Teddy Hart's starting to feel it now. These risks are paying off, but at what cost? You know, once that adrenaline starts flowing, I don't care if it's your hand, it's your neck, you know, you can start to feed on that, and you can mount a comeback, and you can, you can finish the match like that. But the longer it goes, that starts to wear off, and you're not able to finish the match. So I feel like Teddy Hart needs to, to mount his offense. He needs to hit his moves. He needs to pick his spots and really get in there and take out Maxwell now, or else it's going to start to hurt him. And, and I don't know if he can. If, I don't know if he can beat him. Maxwell is much younger, but Teddy Hart has that experience. He should know. What, what did he do? Did he wedge that chair up into that buckle? He did. And wait a minute. Throws him into Teddy Hart. Catches him with a knee. And Jeff, he's going out. Wait a second. for a back jump. Oh! oh! Wait a second. That's got to be it. Rope persistent free from the destroyer. Arm. He's got him with that armbar. Oh, he's bringing him back. He's got it. He might have him. He's got nowhere to go, man. Bending those fingers back on that injured arm. Pulling on that shoulder as well. Teddy Hart able to roll through into the ropes. Will Dojan doing his job. He got to the ropes. He got to break the hole, MJF. But how much did that take out of Teddy Hart? I have to ask you a question. Why hasn't Will Dojan moved that chair? Is it because he has have Coke bottle glass? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yes. yeah, he's a nickel short, but... Um, those Coke bottle glasses, he's got to be able to see that chair. Wait a minute. Hart, look at up what those is arms. This? He's capturing both arms. Into a... Oh! The Heart Destroyer driving MJF down hard on his neck. Remember that cradle DDT just adding to the effects. And he's got to be looking for the finish right about now. Oh! oh! Big flipping... 
Uh, heart what destroyed. Is what is this? All the way up. I'm nervous. To an electric chair. Oh! Electric chair. Put it on the board. Teddy Hart victorious.